reaction to the Aliens Fire Team um, gameplay demo, which was off the IGN playthrough uh, the other day. Um, made this video yesterday, wasn't really that happy with it, um, so I deleted it. I wanted to do a kind of make some notes and talk about it a bit more in depth. But I also did a reaction to the actual trailer, um, where I kind of just reacted to what we were shown in the trailer. Um, it kind of seemed like a lot that I was talking about in the, in the trailer reaction kind of was what I was kind of, I suppose, worried about in the game. I've actually watched this. Um, it's 25 minutes long. It's worth watching. Uh, it kind of gives a real good feel of what the game is going to be about. Um, so, Aliens Fighting, what is it? So, it's a three-player cooperative online shooter. Um, you can play so solo with bots. Um, it's made by Cold Iron Studios, which is a new studio studio of about 40 people. Um, it's the first game with the, with the Alien license. Um, it's going to be objective-based with uh, enemy alien slash android AI. Um, similar to Left 4 Dead, I kind of get a World War Z vibe from it. Um, I said this in the, the video that I actually deleted, but I actually get a World War Z vibe. Um, and I also kind of get a Predator Hunting Crowns vibe off it as well. Um, but the, the, the World War Z and Predator Hunting Grounds, the way I'm basing that off, when you're playing Predator Hunting Grounds, it's four people, four four players online. You're in this map doing these objectives, and then you're getting attacked by AI soldiers and another player-controlled Predator. Um, that's basically what this is, um, apart from this is third person, whereas Predator Hunting Grounds is first person. Um and there's no AI that's controlled by another player on Aliens Fire Team, as as we know so far. There might, you know, maybe there is some sort of um, they would have spoke about it in this if there was, but they don't mention it. Um, there's going to be twenty enemy varieties, over twenty enemy alien varieties, and I think that they just say enemy varieties. So I'm imagining it's just going to be. A mixture of different alien um, varieties and different whale and yutani kind of um, androids and kind of soldiers, uh, that sort of thing. There seems to be, you know, the aliens from all the films, like as you can see there, there's like the runner aliens, which is off Alien 3. The Later on, you see the soldier aliens, uh, sorry, the warrior aliens, which is like from Alien 2. Uh, you obviously have seen the Queen and seen some face huggers in the trailer. Uh, there's things called bursters that, and there's things there's alien varieties called spitters. Um, there's the Praetorians, which we've seen the big the big hulking alien. Um, so there's quite a lot of variety in the alien. Um, it hasn't really shown any of the like android enemies, but I imagine they'll just be android soldiers. First time we've actually seen android soldiers um, in the film or in the video game, and well, I haven't seen any in the films or anything like that. Um, there's going to be over th well, it says thirty weapons. There's going to be thirty weapons in the game, which is quite a lot of weapons for a for a game for a game like this, which is kind of good. So there's a lot of variety there. As you can see, you have got the smart gun, there's pulse rifle, there's the shotgun, um, there's the there's a the flamethrower. Um, so they'll be interesting to use all these variety of weapons. I think you get a primary weapon, a secondary weapon, and then if you're running out of ammo, you then have to pull out your pistol and kind of just try and survive with what you've got there. Um, there seems to be two abilities on the bottom left corner as well. I don't, I don't know what they are. Um, I didn't really pay attention to that, but well, I'm sure it'll be revealed at a later date. Um, or maybe, if maybe, I maybe did mention in this video and I've just missed it. Um, it's got four campaigns. Each campaign takes over an hour long uh, to finish. Each campaign's got four chapters, and. Um, it's got drop in, drop out co-op. Obviously, they were talking about this like this algorithm that makes the game different every time. I don't know how true that's going to be. I don't know if this is going to be one of the games that you play for like play for a few hours, you get the gist of it, and then you kind of put it down. Um, that kind of happened with me with Friday the Thirteenth. Friday the Thirteenth, I had a lot of fun with, um, but I played it. I played it quite a lot when it first came out, and then I kind of dropped off when people started to kind of just, you know, the Jasons. Jasons and the, and the players were in the same party and they were just messing about and Jasons weren't playing the game properly and it was kind of just destroyed the game really and that's when I dropped off. Same with um, Predator Hunting Grounds. I st still jump back into that and play it. It is fun. Um, it is 
you know, again, another Ilphonic, a very small studio, um, and they've had two big licenses like Friday the 13th and Predator Hunting Grounds. Um, and they've tried, and I think that's where I get this soft spot for these kind of games because it's, it is a small studio trying. Um, at least we're getting something, I suppose. And after, after watching this and getting a feel for the game, and, and I'm somebody who supported Friday the 13th on Kickstarter. I'm somebody that bought and played Predator Hunting Grounds. So this, I could sit here and say, I'm not going to get this, I'm going to wait for reviews, but I know exactly what I'm like. I'll probably pick this up day one. Um, it seems like fun, and if a game's fun, that's it. Not everything has to be this like critical darling, 9 out of 10. Um, you know, if a game's fun, and you have fun with it, and you can sink a lot of time in with it with friends, especially, or just play online if it's got a decent online community, then I think that's great, you know. Um, the friendly fire. This was this. They actually say they they actually say they're playing on the normal setting, the default difficulty. So when you turn the difficulty up, there becomes you know there's there's the um, there's friendly fire, which becomes an issue. There's also splashback from the aliens acid. So if you kill an alien at close quarters, the um, the acid will damage you, and that's a that's a that's a, a factor that can. He says you don't really want to kill aliens up close. Um, so that's something as well. Um, it, I've got what, a list of good and bad for me personally. What I think, like it looks great. I think they've really nailed the look and feel of the alien, um, the varieties of the alien, the size of the aliens, the the level design looks really good. The graphics look really good. Um, the sounds from the 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 movement sensor that's atmospheric. You know the guns, the the pulse rifle sounds genuine. You know, just it looks like they, I think they've really gone for this kind of. They say that they're a survival horror shooter, but I would disagree. I would say it looks more like an action orientated kind of action first third person shooter set in the alien world, um, because alien games for me don't really seem like a lot of fun when you are the hunter. They seem more fun when you're the hunted. So Alien Isolation was very kind of like, um, you are alone on this space station. It's first person. It was more immersive. This alien, if it gets you, it's going to kill you. You can't fire your weapons. You know, you had to kind of judge if people were friendly. If there was other survivors on the ship, the the androids that were like, they were really creepy as well. So that was really kind of like survival horror. Whereas I think this game's kind of gone for the whole making it a bit more like Aliens, the the, the, the movie, um, and just making it a bit more action-orientated. Um, but this is only like one level that they've shown, 25-minute demo. Um, but I've said the sign, authenticity looks great. Same with Predator Hunting Grounds, the authenticity on that was good. Cooperative, I'm always up for cooperative online online games. Games like this, um, I've recently been playing a lot of the Outriders demo, and I'm so into that game, like I've been sinking low... At, you know, loads of hours into the into the Outriders demo. I'm really excited to play that. That's another third person um, online kind of shooter. Um, and we're going to make a separate video for for uh, Outriders, but I don't want to talk about it too much. But it is kind of like that drop in drop out co-op. Um, it's not a live service. It looks, you know, it's really fun to play. And if a game's fun, that's most that's that's half the battle for me. And my opinions kind of changed on this when they announced this and I looked at the trailer. I was very kind of cynical. Um, I was kind of like, oh, you know, I don't want to be that guy, but you know, I don't want them to be like, I don't want it to be like just fighting these waves of aliens that have got no AI. And we'll get to that in a minute because um, that's one of the problems that I've got with the game that we see. Um, I like these this area now that they're doing. So before you like actually it'll start an objective off, you. You'll put turrets down. You'll you'll make defenses. You can put um, trip you know mines down, turrets. Um, so that's kind of good. And then you you set the objective off, and then you've got to defend. So I I, I like that aspect of it. It looks really interesting. Um, but the AI the AI looks bad. I mean, they just seem to be running at you. I think at this point as well, there's actually a warrior alien that comes up. Like the warrior aliens are from the alien aliens film, and you can just see it here, just walking towards them, and they're just like look, it's just walking towards them and just firing bullets into it. It's not, it's just walking like again, walking towards them. There, look, that 
looks bad to me. That doesn't look good. Um, the AI don't really seem to be trying to flank you or anything like that. Um, all the levels, and it's kind of in that alien world where all the levels are very linear. You know, even Alien Isolation, all the levels were kind of like, it was long corridors, there was very, very rare, there was a, a wide open space. This kind of seems the same, that there's going to be a lot of um, corridor fighting, um, a lot of aliens just coming down corridors, and then when it opens up like this, it seems like it's going to be this defence kind of game where we've got to put our turrets down and, you know, anchor down and really try and get, get you know, defeat these waves of Horde. And that might be bad. And some people that didn't... That, that, that might be a problem for some people. I remember uh, Vanilla Destiny was like was like that as well. It was very much go somewhere, activate a door with your ghost, and then it just became this Horde mode game. And some people don't like that. Um, like here you'll see you'll actually see the aliens coming down the corridor and they don't really these are the runners, the runners, like they're the ones off like Alien 3 I think, they seem to be just like this kind of like, they just run at you um, and become this kind of cannon fodder um, so the AI I'm not that impressed with but it is a, it's a it's a it's a first game from a, a small studio, so I'm kind of giving them the benefit of the doubt. Um, like I said, not everything has to be this like triple A fucking experience. But I know I understand it's an Alien franchise, and Alien is held in such high regard. And I think Colonial Marines has kind of like brought everyone down to earth with a big thump. Alien Isolation was kind of like the the pinnacle. Um, but even then, Alien Isolation, I don't think it sold very well. So where's all the Alien fans that were like complaining about Colonial Marines but then didn't buy Isolation? Um, because I would have loved an Alien Isolation sequel. And, then you know, obviously we're not getting that. We've got this instead. Um, and I said in my initial trailer reaction that I deleted because I'm a harsh critic of myself. And I, I think I was repeating myself a lot in that video as well. This is just going to be one of them games that's going to come out. It's a third-person game. It's I don't think it's going to be full price. Um, and it's just going to be doing some objectives with some friends, shooting down aliens. That's all this game's going to be. I don't know why. I mean, I don't really know what people were expecting. As soon as people mention alien, oh, you know, they just... I, I, I totally get it. I understand it's, it's a beloved franchise. It's a beloved license. It's not really been done very well. When you think of Alien, there's not that many Alien games that you can think of. That, well, I can think of. A personal favourite of mine was Alien Trilogy on the Sega Saturn, um, which then later got a, a later release on the PlayStation 1. And Alien Isolation, and that's really been it. Um, there was Aliens vs. Predator on the PC. That was kind of good. Um, I actually didn't mind Alien vs. Predator on the 360 as well. That was kind of atmospheric. Um, but yeah, not really been great. Um, has a great reputation. There's a red alien there. Um, not really has a you know. It doesn't really have a great reputation. Alien games, which is a shame. So, you know, I don't think people should be expecting this to be like a fucking nine out of ten. Um, it basically is what it is. It, it, it basically. I mean, fair play. They're, they're showing you what the game's like. Um, hopefully, we'll get a demo or a beta. Um, I can see them doing like. Hudson or Hicks as like a pre-order bonus, um, get unlocking them characters. Um, one big thing that I've got a problem with is there doesn't seem to be a lot of aliens on screen. And going back to World War Z, World War Z, I, again, a game I had fun with, a game that reminds me a lot of this, this third-person, objective-based, getting through a level whilst getting hoarded by aliens is basically World War Z. I think this is... Although World War Z is basically a Left 4 Dead kind of game, I love, like, we go for this, like, every time there's a game like this, it's always like, oh, we go to Left 4 Dead. Like, Back 4 Blood, I would say that is Left 4 Dead. This is also Left 4... I mean, it obviously is a Left 4 Dead kind of experience, so, so is World War Z. But this is so close to World War Z, for me anyway, as someone who's played World War Z, um, this is so close to that. With It's just World War Z with aliens. If someone said, how would, you, how would you describe it? I would say it's World War Z with aliens. The only difference is that World War Z has more enemies on screen. And that's what I wanted with this. I really wanted, like... I wanted the aliens to come from everywhere. I wanted to be in that 
situation where they're in aliens, you know, where the Marines are there and they're, they're, they're on the ceiling, they're on the walls, they're coming from below us, they're coming from behind us and we're kind of getting swamped and that's what I wanted. Um, this is just the default difficulty. Maybe there'll be more aliens on screen when when we when we put the difficulty up, but I think with it, you know, we're at the point now where you know we're we're coming into next gen. I think we're we're already we're already in next gen. We need to stop saying that we're we're coming into next gen. We're actually in next gen. PS4 and Xbox One are last gen now officially. Um, and with that, you'd think there'd be more enemies on screen. It's just a little nitpick of mine, but I would like to see like when you're playing World War Z and you put that on hard, that game is relentless. And the waves of enemies that are on there, like you'll get 30 zombies, 30, 40 zombies running towards you. And it fits in with the movie because there was that kind of swarm of like death coming towards you. I'm not saying it has to be on that level because aliens, I mean, the only time you've really seen aliens as like a swarm attacking somebody was on Aliens vs. Predator when the Predator's on top of that pyramid. And he's firing everything and there's just loads and loads of aliens coming towards him. But these, I mean, there's never there never really seems to be any more than ten aliens on screen at once. And look at the size of the room. Um, I did go through this on the trailer when the, when the trailer came out. Like there's there's levels where you're actually in an alien hive, and there's no aliens on the walls. They're just running towards you. So that kind of looks a bit of an issue for me. But I hope it's fun. Um, if it's not fun, I don't think this game's going to do very well. Um. But if the aliens are cannon fodder, like they just look like they're just going to run towards you, then them being this kind of overwhelming force, like at least bump up the numbers of the the aliens on screen, so you know you are kind of reloading and backing off, and you know you you kind of like you're fair enough, they're easy to kill, but if, if, if there's loads of them, then they're going to be a, a you know much greater force to kind of be, you know deal with. Um, Excuse me, but that's it. I mean, I'm I'm kind of interested in it. My my opinion's kind of swayed. I'm I'm I think it looks like a decent kind of online short shooter. But I don't think if you didn't like um if you didn't like World War Z and if you didn't like uh, Predator Hunting Grounds, I genuinely don't think people are going to enjoy this. Um, I think it kind of looks like maybe a seven out of ten game. If I had to put a score on it, um, I'm going to keep an eye on it. Um, but I'm excited for it. I I think it's good. I think it looks good. Um, I think it could be fun, and if a game, like I say, I keep saying, if a game's fun, then what's you know, if a game's fun and you can sink loads and loads of hours in and have fun with it, um, I don't really see a problem with it. You know, um, super hardcore alien fans will probably be pissed off with this, or you know, maybe the you know people might be actually um, excited for this. But I have seen a lot of comments when the first trailer was launched that people saying. It looks like a reskin of Colonial Marines, only it's in third person, which is kind of a big kind of insult to it. Um, I don't think it's that bad. Um, but yeah, it's one to watch. Um, it's out in three months, it's out in summer. Uh, it's coming out on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, um, and Xbox Series X and S. Um, I'm sure we'll get a digital foundry kind of uh, deep dive into where it runs best and you know and whatnot but i'm hoping it does well i always hope this is why i supported ilphonic with friday the 13th and this is why i mainly bought like predator hunting grounds and this is why i'm probably going to buy this is i i i think little studios like this that have get given such a big license it's such a big task for them and i think that if you are a fan of alien even if you don't like the look of the game i think you should maybe just try it out and give it a give it a purchase um, just to kind of show you support, I mean, it is uh, they are trying. You can tell that a lot of work's gone into it, and it is kind of um, they are fans of the game of the franchise. You can tell, but look there. I mean, there's only just they're just running towards you, and you're just blasting them. And if there was a lot more of them, I think there'd be more of a threat. Um, but like I say, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited for it. I think I'm probably going to pick it up. Um, I don't know if it's going to be for everybody. It, you know, Alien Isolation... Sorry, Alien... Pre Pre Predator Hunting Grounds didn't do too well. But again, fun game. Um, World War Z didn't do too well either. Again, though, fun game. Uh, I think this is just going to go down that route, if I'm honest with you. Um, so I'm kind of prepared in, in that mindset for it. Um, I kind of... I'm, that's what I'm expecting. Um... But yeah, 
that's Alien Fire Team. Uh, as always, if you'd like to leave a like, you'd, again, you don't have to. Um, subscribe. Um, again, no pressure to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know what you think below. Um, I won't be deleting this one. I actually think um, I, I'm too harsh on myself when it comes to uploading to YouTube. Um, you can also check me out on Twitch at uh, Pimp My Shed Plays. Um, YouTube is at Pimp My Shed Plays again. Same as Twitter, at Pimp My Shed Plays. Um, yeah, so have a good one. Stay safe, and we'll see you again for the next video.